Oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. All right, let me set my phone down, try and clear a little path for my body here. Move this puppy out of the way. I do not recommend an untidy workspace. The only reason I have one is because how my brain operates but one day I promise one day each new repair will get a whole new clean desk it'll be beautiful but for now this should be a very should be a very challenging repair I'm expecting all hands on deck all three brain cells firing at all cylinders here because we're working on a Maxim 9000 it's a Minolta Obviously, this is not that old of a camera, I guess, in terms of the cameras I typically work on. It was released in 1985. This is the first professional autofocus camera, strictly autofocus, because there was previous iterations of cameras with autofocus. The MEF comes to mind. I believe that was the first autofocus potentially. Was not professional though, didn't work that well. Still doesn't, actually works worse now, believe it or not. Uh, this was the A-mount lens, I believe, Minolta's A-mount, which was then taken up by Sony Ugh. for Sony's first, I don't like that sound, for Sony's first um, autofocus cameras. I think Sony only did digital though. I don't think there's any Sony film cameras floating around out there. So this one is gonna be, oh man, oh, it's crusty. Look at that, look at the just dust and crust on that. It's got a power winder there and then the rest of the camera here. Ooh, oh, I don't like this. Mommy gusta porque es muy mal. Okay. So, yeah, I guess let's just mm, pop some fresh batteries in them. I would toss those away, but El Gato is standing right by the garbage can. I don't want to spook her because I care about animals and animal safety. So, put those in. Maybe those work, maybe they don't, who knows. Turn it on, oh, I'll be honest, this is the first time I've seen one of these cameras. Typically I see a lot of the, uh, was it the X, Maxim 3000, Maxim 5000, more in that series. I don't really get to the professional stuff all that much, so this is a bit of a treat. I'll do a, I'll do a more full video on these cameras because I just got recently I acquired a Maxim 3000 so I'm pretty stoked having that in my room just kidding they're horrible cameras and I don't like them um, so first and foremost I always take the straps off oh oven's ready gotta put some bread in I always take the strap off just because it's easier uh, to deal with the camera without it and we're going to see if we can find a way to open up the back okay, there we go that's awful and I hate that okay what a terrible design okay um, so far not impressed a uh, few things first that I want to talk about on these like early renditions of Minolta's autofocus they use these like really bad LED screens you can see here and peep all of that bleeding that's going on around the, the corners and you can't see it but it is flashing a hundred so I'm assuming that is registering that there is power to it but I can't get it to do anything outside of flash a hundred See, it's not a not a great start, we'll say. Oh, she lives. Oh no. Oh 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, no, this is not good. First of all, this lever is like, listen to that. It's like half of an ounce. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, uh, you can't see my face, but there's a strong grimace. I gotta go put my bread in the oven. <laughs> I don't like these things. The auto winders. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? Do we need, do we need 12? 12 AA batteries for this? Lord have mercy. What kind of horsepower does this thing have? Jiminy Christmas. No way. It just doesn't do it for me. Some people dig them. And you know what? More power to you. I'm not going to be fighting you at the checkout line for an auto winder. But, you know, <laughs> I just don't get them. Especially like when they're like that. I mean, 12 AA batteries, that's, it's a heavy thing. It is not, it is not a light deal. But I guess let's talk about this camera really quickly because as I mentioned, this was a professional, I'm doing air quotes right now. You can't see it because uh, I'm using my mind. This is a professional camera. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, so it can fire at, it looks like up to one four thousandth of a shutter speed, one four thousandth of a second, which is a pretty like stinking fast top shutter speed. Uh, it looks like everything's controlled by this dial. So you pick whatever mode you want to shoot and then from there, you can let's see. So say we want to do manual. We can go through, cycle through the different shutter speeds this way, which I kind of like, to be completely honest. Let's see. Yeah, one four thousandth of a shutter speed. The LED screen is a little bit um, gross, as a lot of these like older first gen ones tend to be. So I'm not like shocked by it but you know it is worth noting that that is more than likely going to be the case if you pick one of these up yourself I'll try and get this residue off of here maybe there's a dream nope yeah that is gunked on there real good this is a, it seems to be like a plastic build camera, which is fine if you're into that kind of thing. I am not a big proponent. Let's just lay out. Yeah, please rev your motorcycle right there. Let's lay out my biases real quick. I don't like plastic cameras and I don't particularly enjoy Minolta's, especially their earlier, more electronic ones find there to be a lot more failures than functionality, which is obviously not what you want in a camera. So I, I tend to avoid them, but people like them. So again, more power to you. As for the lens here, this should be fine. I'm just gonna make sure that the contacts and this back article are clean. It appears as though this thing has seen the wrong side of a dust storm. So we'll just double check to make sure that the, the autofocus works. And zoom is pretty gnarly. The LED in the viewfinder seems to be working pretty good. It is very odd using an autofocus camera with a winder. Like I find myself not remembering to wind. So I suppose in that regard, it would be, come on focus. It would be more sensible to use the auto winder. So it gives you a little bit more of a natural experience 
but also at that point just by a different camera. I don't know how much these go for now, but I'd imagine back in the day they probably cost a pretty penny. And if you're used to advancing your camera, then it probably feels natural to do so. I just really hate this lever because it feels like the P30 where it's just like tacked on at the end. And it looks like it was. So there's that. Let's take a look at the crustiest looking, dusty crusty power winder you've ever seen in your life. Oh yeah. I mean, this is just hypoallergenic right here. Is what this is. Lord have mercy. I mean, could there just be more gunk here, do we think? Is that at all feasible? Could we just accrue more filth, maybe? Is that is that possible? Is that something that we as a society can, can muster? Or is this the world's storage of gunk and grossness? Contacts in there do look pretty good, which is surprising. Let me triple check though. I mean, yeah, I would say. Me... I mean, the inside interior here is not ideal. Let me see if I can get a polite. Obviously, I want to talk about Stargate SG-1. I've just started re 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 watching it. Uh, I'm watching The Torture of Tantalus right now, which is, of course, when Catherine goes through the gate with the team to find her fiance who traveled through the Stargate at um, back in like the 40s or whatever when they first discovered it from the Germans great episode. I think it really opens up the storyline into the ancients and builds a lot more lore around the Stargate and the ancient civilizations, which is my jam. Like, just creates... just creates a world that you can really live in. And it really makes this Minolta cleaning experience survivable. I'm also not hugely fond of the shutter button, among other things. So yeah, let's just do a recap of this camera. I don't like it, <laughs> and then I also really don't like it. I can definitely see where somebody would enjoy this system. If you're really big into the Minolta, like this is definitely the way to go. The only issue is I don't think that it ages very well. Oh my God. Okay, go. let's see if this works. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, I feel like I'm being attacked. What are we, oh my god, what are we doing here? What it does, actually, it just fires until the end of the roll. Interesting. I still hate this, but that's really interesting. So say you load in a fresh roll of 36, it has its own counter in here and it will fire until the end of that roll. Terrible actually, but interesting. I think this is a low setting. Oh, red's done. Gotta go get that.